welcome back to the channel. It's me. Yeah, I keep going always to say your boy. I always want to hit a your boy. It's me, Tommy Lundy, anyway. You know me as Mava as well. I stream on Trovo. You can catch all the links down here, down below. Today, we're here to talk about how to set up the Trovo chat bot made by Bioblaze and I'm gonna link everybody's name in the description below who's been behind this because they've been absolutely amazing the support that they're throwing us is absolutely amazing it's a great little community over here on the discord server I will definitely share the link and will be a part of getting this up and going now with this chatbot you can do anything such as you can have your timed messages going off you have war zone stats if you care about that type of stuff you can have different alerts set up and even tie it into your obs with the web socket so then that every time someone follows or joins or discuss spells or subs anything you can actually have alerts go off now inside of the obs so it's not just from your chat you know it's a really 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 powerful too we're gonna show you how to set it up from start to finish today with me let's go on for the journey yeah so the first thing you should really do is jump over to the oh, do I have to renaming it do I have to renaming it to the streamers workshop make sure you go join this discord there'll be a link down below because at least then if you have any issues you can come talk to me or anybody else was in the discord to come try and get some help it's a very very active discord everyone is just trying to help each other get their trovo streams up and going because you know we don't like purple page what can you do so you want to go from here anyway and then you want to go onto their github and we're going to download trovo bot so just press code press download a zip very small as you can see I downloaded this a couple of times basically the easiest way to get this done is just copy so control C or you can just over here and press copy go somewhere that you're gonna keep this thing safe because you don't want to find this and you don't want to embed it so deep that there's gonna be problems of you know just trying to find it and when we jump over to the PowerShell later it's it can get a bit complicated so there's the shorter the destination the better i'm just going to press ctrl v and we're going to paste the bot in here like this now so now when we open it up there's a lot of stuff going on here i won't lay that's okay though we don't need to really worry about most of it but we are going to go over to the settings file so settings.json and we're going to go in here and as you can see here now there's a lot of a lot of things going on here right now but we don't need to worry about it too much you just need to set up in your the email, the password, the name, and the page. So what I would recommend doing is that don't actually use your main Trovo account. Go ahead, make a second account, and then have it set the point to the page of your page. So for example, I'm gonna fill in my bot's details here. Now, so and as you can see here now, that I have the email password, the name of my bot, and the page. Make sure like any I don't I don't really know to be honest if capitalization is an issue or not. Just make sure it, it's one of those things to double check and just make sure you do https colon dash dash trovo.live forward slash mava. The next thing that we can do straight away is open up the PowerShell. So just to make sure you know, the bot is up and running and stuff like that. So if you go over to your search and type PowerShell. Now it's recommended to run as administrator. Okay, so just run as an administrator and then here pops up. Okay, so now we wanna find where you're after installing this. So you have it on desktop, uh, trovobot-master jump cd over to there so cd change directory if none of you don't know that and now we want to do npm install this is basically just going to install any other necessary files that we might need and it's going to recognize okay this is code and we're basically compiling it so if we run this you might get a few errors there's always going to be a few errors that are going to pop up and as you can see stuff is going to get created now so it's after saying it's found four vulnerabilities we can try to fix them, so if we do npm 
Oh, that fix. It's probably not going to fix them. This is always getting updated. Yeah, no, fix it right before. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Now what we can do is we can do node space dot dash index dot js. And what this code will basically do, this will start running your bot. This is how I would recommend to always run your bot. I know there's tutorials in the Discord to create an icon to uh, run the bot. But as you saw, I don't really like desktop icons. I like to keep stuff clean. And I use PowerShell for different other things as well. So, you know, I, I don't mind using PowerShell. But again, it's up to you. There is help in the Discord if you don't want to run PowerShell and admin every time you want to go stream and stuff like that. But anyway, you want to run this command here. All these commands, by the way, will be in the um, description down below. And we're going to run that and you're going to see something like this. Okay. And you want to give it a minute. This is something that I notice people don't do. They don't let it they don't let it go for a minute and then they automatically go over to their chat and they're like, why is my bot not working? Hey, logging into Trovo now. Bot loaded and ready to mod. Okay, cool. We don't really have it doing anything at the minute. That's the only thing, you know. So we need to make sure there's certain things active. So I always activate bot. I don't know if you need to. It's just something I just do just to make sure you actually I just do okay and there's a lot of act other cool stuff in here as well so we're gonna split these like this for a minute yeah, if you ever want to enable something i'll just enable something actually just change anything from false to true stuff like that. okay next time we reload the bot because every time you make a change you're going to need to refresh the bot next thing we can try to do there's some stuff i never tried before so what's hydrate let's take a look here read me enable stay hydration Enable stay hydration reminder. Oh yeah, so people can just do estimation hydrate and they can just make it drink. Okay. So let's let's change that to true as well. But th there's a few things in this that are really, really powerful and they make me miss using stuff like stream elements, but now you can set them up in here and that would be something like time messages. So you know you wanna push people to all your different platforms. Say like you could be like me for example where you play games on Trovo but you stream other things on Twitch and stuff like that. This something like this is really powerful, you know, just to send out hey, I actually stream on Twitch too, you know. So if we go into the readme here we can see so it's now make time messages. So every time you start the bot, you also need to go into your chat and type exclamation mark timer start and timer stop. Okay. So that's gonna be, that's the one gripe about it I don't like. And the time automatically is 20 minutes between messages. You can increase that, decrease that. You can do whatever you want. No, and then when you're going to messages here, so this file right here, this is where all your time messages can go. So you can go, so you can set up stuff like this. So you can push your Twitch, your Twitters, your YouTube, your Vimeos, whatever the fuck you guys use. I don't know what you guys use anymore. TikToks. <laughs> fucking, you want to watch me fucking floss 24 seven, bruh? You fucking hit up my TikTok, you know what I mean? Uh, you can set up all stuff like this and then we can just easily just go into the time messages here and we're going to just set this now for tutorial purposes. I'm setting this to one. Does not mean you should have your chatbot talking every one minute because that one time someone is going to pop into your stream. Yeah, I'm talking to fucking you, you fucker with no views and you're here talking about making your chatbot go every one minute. You're going to miss that real person. Okay, don't don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't. Mm. 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 <laughs> what the fuck am I even doing? I'm so tired. And another great thing as well is going to be the alerts. Now, we're going to get into the OBS integration in another video. I know Griff did the exact same thing and I can understand why because this video is taking an awful fucking long time to record. Okay. But I'm going to show you how to set up the chatty type of stuff anyway. So as you can see here now, you can tick a very um easy understanding of exactly how this is going to work right now but i just don't have it set up in my own obs right now to be able to do it what we're, all we're going to worry about is the messages okay so you can set up so every time someone follows and we just go is a big pog for following followering so now if someone follows it'll be i don't know big dick chungus is a big pog for following 
Thank you very much. And someone subs, you can do the same. When someone casts a spell, you can do the same thing. When someone joins, you can do the exact same. And even when someone raids you, you can set up your own custom um, messages, you know? Which is great. It's really, really powerful. And there's even one for individual spells as well. You can do it. It's just a lot of individual spells and it would take a long time, especially if you wanted to do something OBS wise, but it is there. Now, as you can see here, there are alerts follows. That's gonna, um, for testing purposes, we can do that. So that's fine. But first things first, we need to relaunch the bot. We made a lot of changes. So type exit and that's gonna end, end the bot and just literally press up and then your bot is running again. Okay. If you guys didn't actually notice as well, so you can do slash clear and, and clear up your chat. And it won't just clear it up for you, it's gonna clear it up for everybody as well. It's a good thing that I like to do between streams. How do I have three viewers right now? I don't have only two. Are you lying? Okay. This one's like, who else is watching me? Okay. So now the bot is loaded and ready to mod. So now we can do timers start. And that's going to start our timers hopefully yes this is exactly what we want to see right there so time message is activated okay so now every minute like we said it's going to send those messages now again do not actually set it to one minute keep it civil keep it 15 20 i wish you could do different frequencies so that one only goes every like 20 minutes and then one goes like every 40 minutes but sure, like, what can you do this isn't twitch there's not a need to just keep filling up your chat. When someone joins, they can read what was already said. So there's no need to spam the fuck out of everybody, okay? Now, we're still just kind of waiting here for a minute to get this first message, but I don't see why it wouldn't send. So we'll just give it another minute. See, there we go. I also stream on Twitch doing digital artwork for streamers. There's the link to my Twitch. Big Paul. Uh, go follow by the way. <laughs> Another thing we want to do then is we want to test our alerts for like if we follow and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do this just to test it out. And Mavit is a big pog for following. Thank you very much. And my OBS is fucking going cracked on my other screen. But yeah, it's that, that easy. Now, there's so much you can do when integrating this into your OBS as well. I have everything set up from here. I'll even just quickly show you. That I have stuff, so like a new follower shows up here, latest sub shows up here, recent spells shows up here. And then I even have stuff integrated from Touch Portal, so that when I press certain buttons on my Touch Portal, they activate certain things as well. One thing I have been meaning to set up is actual alerts, I need to really record them. I'm trying to think of really clever ways to actually do that and make it really interesting. But yeah, as you can see here, Stuff like this is possible on Trovo. It just takes a little, little while. In the next video though, we're gonna go over all of that. Well, maybe bar the touch portly stuff because again, these videos do take a little bit of time to record. But anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button down below. Follow my Trovo, follow my Twitch, follow my TikTok for some plus. <laughs> I don't actually do it. Don't worry. Um, Thank you very much again big shout out over to the boys in the discord mr bio blaze pain and this man works day and night this man has a full-time job works way too much and then comes home just to work on this for all of us and yeah we can get a bit of mad well not me personally but people get mad in this discord and they're like expecting him just to magically poop out some amazing you know piece of code for free and it's you know it's it's a bit shitty like i won't lie especially how the way some people go on saying oh this doesn't work that doesn't work yeah well, how about try and fix it instead of being a little bitch you know what i mean i have been in this discord for about a month or so now and i only got this shit working about last week <laughs> it was broken for a little while when i joined but now it's on the right track and i'd love to see it grow they're planning on also adding it into just its own. Into, he's trying to make it an app rather than you have to use, you know, 
text files and shit like that, you know, which would be really, really, really cool. And if you can think of a good name for this spot, they're not allowed to use Trovo bot anymore. Someone from Trovo, they actually have connections with Trovo, which is very, very nice. And so, and Trovo basically reached out to them and told them that they can't use Trovo bot anymore because, you know, whatever. Like, you don't see a bot on Twitch called Twitch bot, you know what I mean? You, you just can't do it, you know? So, if you can think of any good names, they're having a little poll down here at the minute. Right now, none of the above is winning. <laughs> Streamer bot, yet yeah, another streaming bot. I like that. And then your bot. I like yet yeah, another streaming bot. I'm a vote for that. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. New eared dogs. <laughs>